Breaking the hard deck? Insubordination? Are you trying to get kicked out? Don't worry about it. Kicked out of what? What What are they out of the mission? Dude, of the team leader uh, competition. <laughs> Come on! This is like football with Jets, bro. Sorry, sorry, I lost my head for a sec. Forgot, I forgot the mission. Come on, uh, team leader. Look, I'm going on this mission, but if you get kicked out, how do you know? You Henry. suck too. Talk to me. What the hell? <laughs> he pulled my papers. What? He pulled my papers. Tiene sus papeles. He pulled my application and they look at me. Do you a favor. I That's a big favor. I was just going to say that. I That's was like, a huge favor, You should dude. be thanking him. <laughs> Go to a regular college. <laughs> he did, though. Somebody told me there's a file photo on him, and it said he went to some normal college in ROTC. Good. Dude, Maverick got him laid. Yeah, pretty much. We got him four years of, like, normal college <laughs> with actual girls. He Rooster, should be happy. Rooster is now normal-ish, so. <laughs> Back four years. That's, a, that, that's stupid, right? So what does four years, how would that pull him back four years? He just went to ROTC? Like, did he enlist? Did he, like, what What was the four years? That's stupid. Why would he do that? I think they're under the assumption that the only way our is... Our deck is 5,000 feet the above Academy. ground level. A parameter set not just for the safety of our pilots, but for the safety of their aircraft. 5,000 feet is not just a rule. It is a law. And okay, so why is the Admiral debriefing him? Well, they probably watched the... Uh, <laughs> he watched the, the tapes. Folk. They probably watched the Folkwa. Do we call it Folkwa in uh, the Navy? I, I can't remember, remember now. dude. Now it's all blending together. Yeah, so they probably... The jet, the jet tracks itself. So we used to download that, and on a laptop you could recreate the engagements and everything. So... They probably actually they probably maintenance control is probably like, oh, this thing's been over <laughs> this thing's been overstressed about ten point two times. G's, right. yeah, <laughs> right. Uh, well, they could have been watching ACMI, or that, yeah, yeah, they could have been watching ACMI. Um, a little unusual for the three star to get involved in any of this, but even more unusual for him to get involved with an 06's tactical debrief. Yeah, maybe he was in the ready room with his flight gear on. Who knows? <laughs> as immutable as gravity. The hard deck will be much lower for the mission, sir. And it will not change without my approval, especially not in the middle of an exercise. Okay, they're not doing an exercise. They were just doing BFM sets. This is not this an train. exercise. Exercises yeah. are large force. There's a lot more going on, not just two jets, three jets. And that Cobra maneuver of yours? That could have got all three of you killed. I it's never want to see that shit again. What exactly this do you is, suppose you were teaching, Captain? This scene is good nonsense. Zero, sir. I still have something to learn. You are talking about the best fighter pilots on the planet, Captain. And they've been... No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Ooh. No. No, this is... How about, this is how about just... The best in this movie? I would say you're talking about some of the most slightly above average... <laughs> fighter pilots that slightly above slightly below average <laughs> that, are, that are in their fleet tour at this yeah. given exact specific time sir <laughs> yeah I, I don't know I'm told that their entire career while well, they've been dropping bombs from a high altitude with little to no dog fighting the parameters of this true a little to no dog Dude. fighting so what was so the little part how much dog fighting have have they done just the one no, that's what he's saying. He's like, so we had this, I, I don't know, at least in the Navy, we would constantly say, dude, we spend a lot of time with the autopilot on and a left-hand turn with the FLIR dropping LGBs. Nice. But, but you know what I'm saying? Like, and yeah. then I had to do we, right we'd spend, turns. well, we'd spend 80% of our time doing what Maverick's talking about here. And then they'd be like, okay, we're going to go fight, uh, simulated su 30s and we'd all get like destroyed like why do you guys suck so bad it's like because because you you wanted to spend most of our time dropping laser bombs right so that's what he's talking about here which um that was a, that was actually quite a topic of conversation 15 some odd years ago mission call for something they have never encountered okay something you have they... less than three weeks to teach them how to fight as a team and how to strike the target so if the volleyball, goal is, volleyball, 
<laughs> but dude, if the goal is to teach them how to fight as a team, BFM is not the one. Like, and I know they can't do this for the movie. Oh, so dude, no, no, no. It was section engage maneuvering. Come on. Team, not with Hangman, just watching. <laughs> it's supposed to be a team sport, but not with Hangman, correct. Yeah, not with Hangman, just watching. Uh, I mean, you do section engage maneuvering BVR. Again, movie. You're not going to, I mean. And how to come home. And how to come home, sir. His name tag says Captain Pete Mitchell. A remission has its risks. These pilots accept that. I don't, sir. What about the Wizzos, Admiral? Do they accept it? Every morning from this day forward, you will brief us on your instructional plans in writing. And nothing will change without my express approval. Including the hard deck, sir? Especially the hard deck, Captain. I love it. <laughs> it's a request to lower the hard deck, sir, to practice a low-level bombing run per the mission parameters. Okay, so Perfect. the hard deck does not apply to flying low level or air to ground. So Correct. you wouldn't need to do that unless you were planning on dogfighting below 5,000 feet. Low at rules would apply, but regardless. Now, I guess there is later on they, they do, you know, ha have a bandit, Dude, but... The Admiral was a Tomcat guy in the 80s. That thing didn't do anything close to the ground. So <laughs> <laughs> so. Maybe he was a Bombcat driver. Mm, doubt it. <laughs> you could learn a thing or two about timing, Captain. This whole movie's about timing, sir. Yo, Coyote, <laughs> take a look at this. I, I, I just don't here. understand Hangman. Is he just a mean girl? What What is his motivation what here? here? He's trying to figure out what the deal is between them two. As I live and breathe. But why does he care? Oh, puppy dog, she hey, said. Mav. Is this my daughter? Yeah. <laughs> He's like, wait, how old are you? Yeah. Where were you yeah. in 1995 when I took your <laughs> yeah. yes. That's because fifth generation fighters wait at an airbase nearby. And head to head with these planes and your F-18s, you're dead. No. That's why you need to get in, hit your target, and be gone before these planes even have a chance at catching you. This makes time your greatest adversary. You'll fly that's a real. route in your nav system that simulates the canyon. I don't understand this part. So you're flying with real terrain, simulating real terrain somewhere else. How do you not hit the actual terrain you're flying around? There? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, without a real canyon, like, you know. I... They're doing 450. It just seems, yeah. realistically speaking, you'd do this in the sim. I mean, that, that would be the bottom line. Oh, you're, yeah. you're practicing the actual route. You just go to the sim, and they would build it for you and all that stuff. Yeah. The faster you navigate this canyon, the harder it will be to stay under the radar of these enemy SAMs. <laughs> the tighter the turns, the more intensely the force of gravity on your body multiplies. He's really explaining stuff they should already know. your lungs, forcing the blood from your brain, impairing your judgment and reaction time. We already know this, Maverick. Please, last morning, take it easy. We took aerospace physiology and pilot training. Time Thank you. Three minutes. Good luck. They make it seem real busy, but if you're doing a low level, you're not man maneuvering around that much. No, I mean, man. you're not doing all this stuff. You're just following the thing. I mean, it's... Yeah. Now it's fun. Stop the target is one minute, 30 yeah. here, two seconds behind, increased to 489. But if you're banking and yanking, so to speak, that much, you're definitely not doing 660 in a Rhino. <laughs> no, Maybe man. straight and level, but with all this turning, no. Dude, and here's the thing. If you had a TOT, man, and the Hornet, even the old Hornet, you could program it in, and it'd give you symbology in the HUD to tell you if you're ahead or behind or right on. I mean, you could, you could, you could, like, to the second for the bomb impact, like, even a dumb bomb, if you did it. Yeah. So you would need Bob back there <laughs> telling you, because you could see it in the HUD. Well, she's looking at the HUD. Yeah. Gotta move, Coyote. Copy, increase the speed. Oh, oh shit. That's not unrealistic. To have a flight lead do something stupid and you end up like, <laughs> "Oh, Jesus," and you overshoot them and end out in front end up out in front of them. It's not terrible. 
Why are they dead? We broke the 300 foot ceiling. Yeah, Sam took us out. Are they doing a mass no. debrief? Why are they dead? I slowed down and I didn't give her a warning. It's my fault. Was there a reason you didn't communicate with your team? I was focusing on one that their family will accept at the funeral. Harsh. Well, it's her position to stay in, in position. Why didn't you enter job? Turn. You're briefed on the terrain. There you go. Don't tell me. Tell it to his family. Well, she's dead too. The yeah. ghost of Phoenix can't do that. Hey man, he's up. The canyon's getting tighter. Negative payback. Increase your speed. You're going too fast, man. Well, no harm in being ahead of schedule. Actually. <laughs> it's, a t it's a TOT for a reason. Oh yeah. You know, you know. actually. Yeah, early is bad, late is bad. Yeah, you gotta be on time. Damn it, slow down! I can't stay on the course! Ah, oh, you're gonna hit the wall! Watch out, watch out, watch out! Okay, did he hit the real mountain or the fake mountain? And because there's real mountains here too, while they're practicing for the fake mountains. What happened? Well, I flew as fast as I could. Kind of like my ass depended on it. And you put your team in danger and your wingman's dead. Why do they say wingman like that? Like, what is the deal? What do you mean? Wingman. Like, they put the emphasis on the syllables. Like, it's real. <laughs> like, it's all Hollywood. They did in the first one, too. They're like, you can be my wingman. Wingman? Wingman? I don't know. Increase to 500 knots. Negative Yale, hold your speed. Is Bruce that uh, Jim from the You're office? Alive. We'll make up time in the straightaway. We are not gonna make it. Just trust me. Maintain your speed. We can make it. Why are you dead? <laughs> your team leader up there. Why are you? Why is your team? Nobody says against? team leader. <laughs> He's the only one who made it to this the This is corporate. A minute late. A minute you late. Enemy dude. aircraft time to shoot. That's him excessive. Is dead. Dude, a minute. You might as well be tomorrow. Flying fast <laughs> enough. You don't have a second to waste. We made it to the target. And superior enemy aircraft intercepted you on your way out. Point of order, Mav. Just throwing this out there. Have we thought about throwing some of these airplanes up for offensive counter air to maybe take care of said enemy aircraft on the way out? Maybe well, a seed package. Uh, uh, maybe... Spoiler alert, apparently that's kind of what happened. <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just spitballing yeah. here, but if Fat oh, Amy yeah. can't do the air-to-ground stuff, perhaps Dude, they could do even... some of the air-to-air -air stuff or the seed stuff, or which is suppression of enemy air defenses. Fat maybe Amy's you could call ball. in... Call your Air Force buddies, and maybe they could get some CJs out there. They've got their own Fat Amy. We got dude, Growlers. We've got F-22s. Dude, if you want to get really, really froggy, just have the ship guys uh, de-louse you. <laughs> it's like, or, hey, we're, we're the ones in front coming back. Shoot the guys behind us. Yeah, there's a couple different ways I would handle it. None of them would be like this. Then it's a dogfight against fifth yeah. generation fighters. Yeah, easy. We still have a chance. In an F-18. It's not the plane, yes. sir. It's the pilot. That's true. That's true. That's 100%. true. Except when you're talking all the technology. It's not the dogfight. It's all the technology surrounding the dogfight with the missiles that kill you before you know you actually are dead. Exactly. That's no time to be thinking about the past. Dude, nobody talks like this. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean, Rooster? He's not cut out for this mission. It's enough. You know it. You know I'm right. Woo! You don't talk to an 06 like that in the Navy. You're all dismissed. Oh, no, no way, dude. <laughs> oh, boy. Dude, that is the nicest ready room. Like, they put those windows. No, well, they did it just for the movie. Dude, this whole scene, I think this is one of the best parts of the whole movie. Really? Yeah, man. Like, I think Iceman, Iceman and the Tomcat make this movie. All this stuff beforehand that we're talking about now is it's fluff. <clears throat> In my opinion. I'm a fighter pilot. Yeah. That's, that's, that's how I feel I'm all the time. Aviator. Yes. It's not what I am who i am pretty much that's what i tell my wife how do i teach that that hurts <laughs> even if i could teach it it's not what rooster wants one last thing <laughs> who's a better pilot you or me this is a nice moment 
It's not. <laughs> oh, perfect. As a result, your mission has been moved up one week in order to avoid contaminating the target valley with radiation. Sir, no one here has successfully flown a low-level course. Nevertheless, you've been ordered to move on. Captain. We have yet to do this right. Please don't send us. <laughs> we have we'll rise to the occasion. We're good. Too. It's the most difficult stage of the mission. It's a pop-up strike with a steep dive requiring nothing less than two consecutive miracles. Two pairs of F-18s will fly in a welded wing formation. Whoa. Teamwork. Why? The precise coordination of these aircraft is essential to both the mission's success and your survival. Plan better. The two-seat aircraft will paint the target with a laser bullseye. Body the first lays. pair will breach the reactor by dropping a laser-guided bomb on an exposed ventilation hatch. Why not loft it? Good. Right? Pop up, yep. loft, turn around. Yeah. <laughs> like, why do all this? Because that, that movie would suck, Mover. <laughs> yeah. I mean, really, you only need one guy, because you've got time of fall considerations, because the laser, the bomb's got to see the laser a certain amount of time. GB-24 has a significant lays time um which you but you can do it farther out i don't i mean i feel like they overcomplicated a very simple problem yeah dude just <laughs> just have some seals uh, up on the ridge with a with a laser yeah uh, i mean <clears throat> or use the forces you have shoot tomahawks at it there's ground penetrating tomahawks now you mean the same weapons they used to take out the airfields? Not saying. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. This will create an opening for the second pair. That's miracle number one. The second team will deliver the kill shot and destroy the there's target. No, there's no tone. There's no tone when the laser That's miracle number two. That's a miss. The mission is a failure. Dude, you missed with a LGTR. I mean, dude, those, that, that's like the hits I used to get. Like, as long as it's within the 300 Egress foot range. High G <laughs> climb out to avoid hitting this mountain. A steep climb at that speed, you're pulling at least eight Gs. Nine, minimum. <laughs> Stress limit of F 18's airframe is 7.5. That's Thank the you. accepted limit. To survive this mission, you'll pull beyond that. Even if it means bending your airframe. You, I could see doing it because you needed to. I cannot see planning to do that, right? You'd not plan yeah. for, like, you would be like, okay, we need to figure something else out. This is stupid. Okay. You'll be pulling so hard. And you can't practice it, right? Because every time you go out, you'd, you'd whatever. Hard, you'll weigh close to 2,000 pounds. Your skull crushing your spine. <laughs> is that not the ground behind them? It appears to be. So once they're like this, why wouldn't they just and no more G's, right? Again, Mover, that would be boring movie. Boring. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Your lungs imploding like an elephant. I like how he's still chest. explaining this to people. I know. With everything you have just to keep from blacking. Dude, once you're pointed at the sky, you're not worth. They've been in for ten years, sir. They have experienced G's. This. <laughs> Is a coffin corner. Uh, sir, that's not what a coffin corner is. Correct. Assuming you avoid yes. crashing into this mountain, you'll climb straight up into enemy radar while losing all of your airspeed. It sounds like a stupid plan. Be nice to have some growler buddies about now. Enemy Sam's. <laughs> yeah. Are we the only ones on this boat? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Where are all the other aircraft? Uh, You've all faced sustained G's before, but this, this is going to take you and your aircraft to the breaking point. This is a sir, stupid plan, sir. Is this even achievable? No, because it's that stupid. Question. We'll come down to the pilot in the box. Container. <laughs> Rooster's like, what does that even mean? Talk to me, Bob. We are 12 seconds late on target. We got. Did you say that to your Wizzos? <sighs> no, but sta standard two seat. Pilot's like, hey, where are we going? <laughs> gotta move. We gotta I move. Dude, Copy. Try I will. I will say this. When I flew to see jets, I, <laughs> I would actually have less SA. It was totally on me because I'm like, I'm not running the nav, I'm not running the radios. I have no idea who we're talking to. Like, I, I'm just going to the next point. I'm like, wait, hey, is this the right point? <laughs>
Uh, we're still in ground map radar. Somehow, somehow, we got a air something happening over there, and we're still at 4,000 feet. 0.6 Mach. Huh? Wait, who's that? <laughs> That's real. <laughs> who's there? Blue team, you spotted. Shit, it's Maverick. What the hell is he doing here? Team, Bandit is still closing. Popping now! <laughs> I love how they live in a world that's guns only. You know, that 20 yeah, mile I, threat I, didn't <laughs> throw a couple missiles at them. I like the world of guns only. And here's the other thing. It's like, you know, Phoenix, you should, you know, don't leave anybody untargeted or unmonitored. You should hand that off to somebody, I would recommend. <laughs> if only you had missiles on your jet to deal with that without, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Talk to me, Bob. Where's Maverick? It's five miles did the old boy in the other jet asks directly to Bob? Ah, He's Lendo's yeah. mover. He's Lendo's. Yeah. If only you had your own radar and situational awareness. Or well, you could thing. ask Dash 2 because it's one jet. Uh, are we not in the link? <laughs> you know? I mean... <laughs> oh, he's coming fast! Dude, he's in the middle of his pop. And he just said he's coming fast, so to speak. Target's in sight. Where's my laser, Bob? <laughs> Where's my laser, Bob? Shit. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, man, it'd be he such a have, long debrief. <laughs> he would have nothing, no indication in his cockpit other than no. capture lasing. Yeah. Dead eye, dead eye. It's no good. Dead eye is a good yeah, word. That's, yeah. Sorry, I can't get locked. We're out of time. I'm dropping blind. Use your targeting pod. Dude, he's in nav master mode. Yeah. <laughs> dude, they frag. Oh, yeah. Oh, they frag. 1, dude, it, it, they are well is, below. Dash yeah. 3, this is This plan is just awful. Damn it. Missed. All right, dude. Your nose high. The Gs aren't doing anything anymore. You can stop. That's it. Unless Apparently you're going to loop. Boomer. This looks like somebody told them to act harder on the G's. Oh, yeah. 100%, <laughs> dude. Yeah, he's like, what is that, 40, 30 degrees nose high? You're easing at this point. <clears throat> yeah, you've been easing for a long time now. You're at yeah. like 1.2 G's. You're not, no, you're not G-locking. Stop that. What's Joe? What? He, the gun's making a tone? Apparently he's hitting it with a heater. Robert's got me on Oh, so, okay. Yeah, that looks exactly like the gun earlier. Shit, we're dead. And now you're not dead. You just have to react. It doesn't necessarily mean you're dead. How about, Routine, yeah, that's how about a fail. Chap Blair. Up, Coyote. And it only got one of you. <laughs> Coyote's, Coyote's Coyote. still pulling 12 Gs. Okay, I, I, I understand the G-lock thing. That's great, but there's zero percent chance he G locks in this position. And then hold on, wait, wait, Coyote, dude, come in. Hornet won't do that either. Okay, that kneeboard card he was, that kneeboard holder he was carrying, mm -hmm. like, no, that, that's like a eight. Was that a nine ring binder he had on his knee? Look, <laughs> look at that thing, dude. That's a kneeboard holder. He's good. He's got a trapper keeper strapped to his strapped to his leg. Is that, dude. I didn't know that was his knee. But what the hell is that? I don't know, man. But that is not. No. That's not going to be allowed in the old cockpit. Wow. I mean, yeah, I never noticed that in the, in the first two times. Okay, times. so this happens in the jet. What's the yep. jet going to do? It's a Hornet. Going the same. Yeah, it's yeah. just going to fly off into the. That's the best place if you're going to G lock. This is the way to do it, because you're not a... screaming at the ground. Yeah. Yep. This is all kind of silly. Coyote. Coyote. He's going to burn in. I'm going after him. Now, maybe if he got so slow that he departed, but, yeah. dude, you'd be G-locked. You'd be dead. I mean, you, you've been G-locked for a really long time to get in this situation. Unless he's still holding the stick, you know, and just subconsciously. Yeah. 
rolling into it, yeah. Come on, give me tone, give me tone, give me tone. Step out of it, Coyote, come on. I could see that. I mean, you give them an RWR tickle and stuff, but you know they say use their first name, use first their name. call sign. Yep. You're trying to get them, you know, to wake up. To wake up. Come on. Taking a nap. Come on, Coyote, come on. Come on! Coyote! 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 And he's G-locked again. <laughs> G-locked. Coyote, you okay? You okay? I'm okay. I'm good. Good. Uh, point of order. At this point, barring anything that happens, Coyote is now out of the program. Oh, 100%, dude. Dude, he's done. They're, yeah. they're not going to put him in this mission. No. Um, especially with all the spares and the backups that they have, he's done. Good. That's enough for today. Is it? That was close. <laughs> Too close. Bird strike! Bird strike! Bird strike! Well, maybe if you wouldn't fly in fingertip. Venus, left engine's on fire! Climb in! <laughs> Why? What are, we, what are we doing? Whatever, dude, there's so Shutting many... Down. Shutting off fuel to left engine. Extinguishing fire. Right engine is out! It's still spinning! Try to restart it! Phoenix, it's on fire! Don't start! Throttling us! Oh my god. Okay, so there's not asymmetric yeah. thrust in the Hornet, so you wouldn't depart just because one engine's going and the other one's not. None of this bull face... I mean, it's close, but it's not right. There's so many things wrong, dude. Like, no fast hands in the cockpit. And old Phoenix, she's... Dude, she's in there pushing buttons as fast as as she can. And then the other thing, man, um, I hit about twenty five birds in a Super Hornet, and it it didn't even phase it, man. I mean, there's a there's a video of a older Legacy Hornet taking like like fifty feet of the giant of the the rubber stuff they used to secure the catapults on the ship down each engine. I mean, birds are not going to birds aren't gonna aren't gonna phase these motors, dude. I looked it up. I wanted to see what the. No, dude. I've hit. I, like I said, I hit on my first solo in the Super Hornet, dude. I flew through a flock of like I don't know, right on rotation, right on takeoff of like thirty birds, man. And I just the airplane didn't even know it. I came back and landed, and there was little red dots all over it. You know, some of them down the engine. You know, through the engine, it it does not. Uh, birds are good. <laughs> Extremely unlikely. Dual firelights in flight. Throttles minimum practical. Single firelight or dual when side confirmed. Throttle affected engine off. Firelight affected engine push. Yeah. Throttle affected engine off. Firelight affected engine push. There's no... What she did was... I don't know where she got all that from. It gave me... Dude, when I first saw this scene, it gave me anxiety. Because I was like, no. Ah, ooh, <laughs> oh, my God, gosh, dude. I think yeah. you're doing more harm than good. Fire! Fire! Damn it! Okay, so now we got a dual engine fire. That, that unless there's some, been some really nice updates, you're not going to get that pretty picture in the plane. 120 knots at 12,000 feet. So right. speed up. Fire right! Extinguishing right engine. Okay, let's talk about this for a second. You already extinguished the left engine, so that one's no more good. Because once you pop the bottle. That's it. She's done. Yeah. Now she has no more engines. So what does she think is going to happen at this point? Very nice. And why are we doing an aileron roll? Like what? <laughs> Phoenix Bob, punch out, punch out. Warning lights everywhere. Hydraulic failure. <laughs> I can't control it. We're good. Boy, there's all Anything. kinds of bad stuff here. So as long as the... We're going in. We're going in. As long as the core is You can't shave it! Eject! 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 Shouldn't it be sequenced? Once he pulls, they both go? Yeah. Aft so. initiate. Come on, it's part of the takeoff checks. Bam. Phoenix is out. That looks really realistic and it's kind of triggering. I don't like seeing that. Um, but this whole scene's wrong. And then... So we've lost this entire formation to this mission because there's no way Coyote goes having G-locked and these two, doesn't matter what happens with 10 days left, you're not going to convene 
an AIB and clear them to go? You know, I think we, during the investigation, if they would have looked at the ORM sheet prior to takeoff, they could have seen that this was going to happen. <laughs> yeah, I think that's the problem. Obviously, it's the ORM sheet. That the was ORM sheet was inaccurate. You know what? This is what happens when you throw the natops in the trash can. Thank you.